Hi, Bernadette Georgie here again at Studio Just Be in Glassboro, New Jersey with another short workout on the B-Bounder. So I know a lot of you enjoy bar workouts and a lot of you enjoy cardio. And the best part about my B-Bounder is that you can do both. You can get a cardio workout, you can get a bar workout, or you can get a cardio bar workout. And of course, we always add Pilates at the end. So I thought today I'd show you what it'd be like to do your bar work off the B-Bounder base and on the floor. So I always recommend still having a, the mat underneath the B-Bounder. Your B-Bounder does not come with a mat, but you can go to Marshalls or any discount store. You don't have to buy an expensive mat because the, the B-Bounder is just gonna sit on it. And it just is a nice little safety tip so that the B-Bounder doesn't slip. Even if you have a carpet, it's nice to have the mat underneath. All right, so we're gonna use the band. Um, so I wanna show you how to put your foot in the band. So I have the handle, I don't know if you can see because it's black on black, but I move the padded handle and I pull it up to where the hook is. And then I'm gonna put it on the outside of my foot. And we found over just trial and error that it's the nicest way to have the band on your foot uh, so that uh, you have more control over the band. So the first move we're gonna do is small. But as you know, a lot of these small movements are um, very, very effective and you, they sneak up on you a little bit. So as you can see, I have my hand in front of me, not next to me here, and then the band won't get in your way because you have the hand on the inside and the band on the outside. So we're just gonna do a deep, a little, uh, let's do a demi-plie instead of a grand plie. So a little plie, and then just bring the arm out as you bring the foot out. Ready? One, and come in. Two, and in, three, and four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and 10. Good, now I'm gonna bring my arm up to fifth position as I go out to the side. One, and down, two, and down, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good, now we're gonna put the two together. So it's front and side. Here we go. Front, one. Front, two. Front, three. Front, four, front, five, out, six, out, seven, out, eight, out, nine, out, and ten. Good. Now we're going to turn and face the bar. So I'm going to switch my hands. And I'm going to pull, let me try this a little bit. So I'm going to pull my knee in, pulling my abs in super tight, and then lifting my chest and pushing the leg back. The leg does not have to go up high. Ready? Knee in, press back one. In, two. In, three. Four. Five. Six. Seven. Eight, nine, ten, little lifts. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Do you know what's coming? Combo. In, out, one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Good. So we're going to just do a little stretch and come up. Good. I'm going to take the band off of my foot, give my butt and my legs a little rest. Well, actually not really our legs because we're going to do a grand plie with an upright row. Okay, so I have my foot on the mat 
and I'm gonna do a nice upright row into my plie. One, two, plug those shoulders back, three, abs in tight, four, five, I'd be playing music, six, but then Facebook will kick me off, seven, eight, we've all been there, right? Nine, now we're gonna add a tricep extension, so I'm gonna make it a little bit longer, in, press out, in, one, in, press out, two, press out, three, out, four, out, five, out, six, out, seven, out, eight, out, nine, out, and ten. Good. All right, so I wasn't sure if we were going to do the other side, but why not? Just show you how easy it is just to switch sides. Obviously, if you're home, you don't have to do this. You just turn around. Or if you wanted to face, you know, your monitor, you can. All right, so let's put the band on your foot. All right. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Adjust this a little bit. I'm really feeling this. So it's uh, out and up. Here we go. Out, one, out, two, front, three, four, five. Now, all the movements that I do all day long, six, I can really feel this. Seven, that's why ballet work is so important. Seven works all those small, beautiful muscles. Eight, nine, and 10. Nice, all right, gotta go to the back. All right, so here we go. So don't forget, this is all pulling your abs in nice and tight. In and press back. Ready, in, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, little lips, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, let's do our combo, in, out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. Trust me, it doesn't look like much, but you will feel this. All right, looks like my shirt come undone. I'm a little spoiled, I used to do all these big production. Some people would say, your shirt came undone, and we'd have to start over. But you guys don't care. All right, so nice second position and plie. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Make it a little longer so you can add that tricep extension. In, out, in, one, two, three, four, and five. Shoulders are down. Six, seven, eight, nine, and ten. 
All right, so that's a little short intro to what we can do on your B-Bounder when you don't want to be on the base and if you don't want to do any cardio. So it's always good to mix it up. It's always good to find something new, something fun. And again, put on your favorite music. Sometimes what I'd like to do is just get on the B-Bounder and I put on my favorite show and I'll get off the B-Bounder, maybe do abs during the commercial and get back on. So there's a lot of different ways to fit in your, your exercise. I had a conversation with somebody yesterday and she is very busy. She has lots of kids and she is always running around and she's like, I wish I had time to work out. You always can find 10 to 15 minutes for you. And just the fact that you took that time to spend on you will make a big difference on how you feel, how you go through your day. It doesn't have to be a lot of time. Obviously, if you spend 50 minutes on the B-Bounder to do some cardio, do some strength, and of course do some Pilates, that's optimal. But sometimes you have to break it up. If you have 15 minutes, maybe in the morning, and you do 15 minutes while maybe the water's getting hot and you jump around for 15, 10 or 15 minutes and then get in the shower, it will change your life, I promise you. Many, many, many leaders in business and people that are very wealthy, the first thing they do is they get up, they have something to drink, they meditate and pray, and then they get on something to jump on. I'd love it to be the B-Bounder, and maybe that'll happen someday soon, but you can get on the B-Bounder. So it's really, really important that jumping, it invigorates you, it motivates you, it, um, it motivates you and starts to work on your metabolism, and you just feel great jumping around. Think about all those kids in those, in those big bouncy things, or a little kid jumping on the bed. Jumping feels great. All right, so I encourage you to come into the studio if you're in New Jersey, or you can join us live. Just tune in live when I do a class. And I also record those classes. So once a week on Tuesdays, there's always an upload of a new class. So I hope you do enjoy these little times with me as I jumble over and swallow, so swallow my words. I apologize, it's Monday. So have a great day. Be fit, be thankful, and just enjoy your day. Just be.